So this is my $1 pumpkin I got at the grocery store and I washed it really well and then I actually took some white vinegar and went over it after washing it and let it I let it air dry and now I'm going to cut the top out get the scoop the seeds out and then I'm going to cut it up into quarters and I'm going to um, cook it in my Instapot for on high pressure with about a quart of water um, for 10 minutes and then I'll let it slowly release uh, or naturally release and then I'll let it cool just a little bit and then I'm going to take my immersion blender and I'm going to make my own pumpkin puree that I can freeze. Um, I'm doing this for all those great pumpkin recipes. Again, this pumpkin cost me $1. I did try to grow many, many pumpkins this year. Grew none. So, <laughs> I'll take a dollar. It was the kindness of God after all the seeds I planted and all the squash bugs that ate them. Okay, so this is only half um, of the pumpkin. So I'm going to end up doing this four times with the two big pumpkins. Um, I'm fixing to put in my quart of um, clean, I put clean water. I use Berkey water. I have a trivet. I have cubed these. I haven't really cubed them. Um, I did chunks. I cut them up. I'm saving the seeds. I'm going to put those in my food dehydrator so we can have some nice roasted pumpkin seeds or dehydrated pumpkin seeds. Um, so now I'm just going to put on my lid. I am making sure that it's locked. My thing is so dusty. This is under my cabinet. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to, I've got that. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to manually set my timer. Manual pressure. I want it on high. I only need 10 minutes. But I'm a goofball like that, so I always add a couple. I don't know why. I just do. And I hit start. Okay, so I have released. It's cooked. I actually had to step out, so it's been on warm now for about 28 minutes. I've released the pressure. So now we're going to unlock it. You always open it away from your face. And hold on. I'm going to get some tongs. So this is the cooked pumpkin. And I'm going to just take this out and allow it to cool a little bit while I get my next batch on. And when I get them all done, I'll puree them. And then I will freeze them. And have, I'm going to freeze them in two cup portions, so it's just like a can of pumpkin, so I can put in recipes. This, so far, is going really well. Pretty easy. Okay, so now I'm going to use my immersion blender and start pureeing. Uh oh, my guard came off. Now, once I finish, um, I'll let this come to room temperature and then I'm going to bag it up with my um, food saver bags and uh, pull out the air, put them kind of flat, and put them in the freezer. So, and I'll, like I said before, I'll do this with two cups per bag because that's about what most recipes call for. 